$118 billion, $118 billion. I always say, wouldn't it be great if Chuck Schumer came up with a bill for $118 billion that he wanted to spend on America? Wouldn't that be amazing? But here he wants to, again, he wants to spend it on foreign wars. He wants to spend it on Ukraine and he wants to spend it on Israel. So let's listen to what he has to say. We're at a turning point in America. This bill is crucial and history will look back on it and say, did America fail itself? Why is it crucial? Did America fail itself? Is that the question? Yes, Chuck. Every day for the last 50 years, America has failed itself. This isn't so much a turning point as Wiley Coyote looking down after he walks off a cliff. That's what this is. And OK, here we go. Well, if we don't aid uh, Ukraine, Putin will be walk all over Ukraine. We will lose the war immediately immediately he's on to he's on to you and he's on to ukraine this is the turning point for america blah 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 does chuck all think we all have a crackhead son who works for burisma is that what this is about that's weird I, he said if we don't stand up right now for for ukraine that russia's going to walk all over europe listen we could be fighting in eastern europe and a nato ally in a few years americans won't like that Wait a minute. I thought that was the point of so if what about the jobs? We love I, jobs. I, first of all, <laughs> that, never about jobs, but it's always about war. And he says that if we don't send another hundred billion dollars to Ukraine to fight this proxy war, which is an economic war with Russia, has nothing to do with saving this uh, sovereignty of Ukraine. They could have had that. They had peace agreements. The two Minsk Accords had that. They could have did that. They don't want that. They actually wanted this, which is, and they also wanted to blow up the Nord Stream pipeline, which the United States did because they want to sell more natural gas to Europe, even though Europe, uh, Germany is now spending four times the amount for their energy than they were before they blew that up. But my 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 point is he said that if we don't stop them it's that whole thing if we don't stop them there we're gonna have to stop them over here well now they're saying if we don't stop them in ukraine we're gonna have to stop them in other parts of europe isn't that what nato's for isn't that what nato that's that why nato we have nato so if he attacks a nato country nato comes to as a deterrent <laughs> not the united states constantly that's where I, I thought we had a deterrent i thought the deterrent was called nato and anyway so here let's play the rest and then i'll bring dennis in if we don't help Israel defend itself against Hamas, that perpetual war will go on and on and on. If we don't help humanitarian aid to the starving Palestinians in Gaza, hundreds of thousands could starve. And the border, everyone has said it's chaos. A speaker, you just saw Speaker Johnson, he said it's mm -hmm. chaos, we have to do something legislative a few months ago. But what has happened, in answer your, to que your question, so this is crucial for America. It's a turning point. History is going to look over our shoulders and say, did we rise to the occasion? <laughs> to his credit, Mitch McConnell did. Oh, but God. too many Republicans, yeah. including Speaker hey. Johnson, are just scared to death of Donald Trump. Donald Trump has said he wants chaos. Donald Trump has said, well, wait till I become president. That'll take at least a year. Ukraine could be gone. The border will get much Jesus worse. Christ. War in the Middle East will get worse, maybe bring, bringing, bringing us into it. He's doing it all for political reasons. And let me just say, will senators, the crucial question, the $64,000 question, the majority of Republican senators know this bill is the right thing to do. It's a compromise. I don't like everything in it. Neither does McConnell. What? But it's a compromise. That's the only way you get things important done in the Senate. We proved that two years ago in our bipartisan legislation. And will the senators drown out the political noise from Trump and his minions Voters? and do the right thing for America. <laughs> it's a crucial question. History will, is looking down on every one of us right now. Is history like Jesus or something? I, I don't 